If you're shopping for a three-row SUV, I'm going to be honest with you, this one probably isn't going to make your shopping list. And it's not because there aren't some crazy folks out there who would probably wish to drive their families around in a 700 horsepower car, blow out the kids' eardrums with the loud exhaust, and torch legitimate sports cars at every traffic light, because I'm certain those people exist. No, it's probably the $90,000 asking price and 13 MPG on premium gas that will end that conversation with the spouse. So chalk this one up to pure fantasy. It is the insane 2021 Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat. You may know that Dodge already sells an SRT Durango, but at only 475 horsepower, boring. So Dodge has done what Dodge does best. It added the Hellcat to the lineup. Though the bones of their vehicles are ancient, Dodge has done a remarkable job of constantly updating and adding new variants, keeping interest high. And if you like this one, you better get on it. Dodge says the Durango Hellcat is a one and done, only available for this model year. And having driven it now for the past seven days, I can tell you it's everything you imagine it to be. The Husky exhaust, the supercharger whine, the sound of two fuel pumps feeding gas faster than you can afford it. It is outrageous and yet adequately civilized to drive every day with two caveats. One, no matter how loud you like your car, this exhaust drones like mad. And two, its small 320 mile driving range means you'll need to add $86 fill ups to your weekly schedule. And here's an interesting tidbit. At 17 MPG highway, it gets the same mileage as Toyota's Land Cruiser, which has a smaller engine and 329 fewer horses. So, question, at $5,000 less, would you rather this Durango or a Land Cruiser? Something fun to think about. For 2021, all Durangos get a makeover both outside and in, including the addition of the new Uconnect 5 system laid out here in my preferred landscape orientation. It's faster, does wireless phone projection, and includes all of the awesome SRT performance page goodies. A muscle car lover's dream that allows you to measure your accomplishments and keep tabs on this engine. It is brilliant. As compared with the lowly 392, Dodge says this Hellcat delivers a higher level of ride comfort, better handling in track mode, reduced understeer, and much more downforce. So after you load the kids into the car and tell them you're going to the amusement park, but show up at the racetrack instead, you can validate that all of this is true. For me, on our well-groomed airstrip with impeccable tarmac, I've got three takeaways. One, it'll do zero to 60 in at least 3.7 seconds, 3.5 according to Dodge, which is absolutely plausible. Two, it is very loud. And three, these brakes have a lot of work to do to slow this thing down. 710 horsepower, 645 pound-feet of torque can turn out an 11.5 second quarter mile, which is stupid fast for a 5,700 pound SUV. And I imagine if you opt for the summer use rubber as opposed to these all seasons, you'd experience even more impressive Hellcat attributes. With the all wheel drive and on this one, sliding this beast around isn't really in the cards. On public roads and sport mode, the handling is impressive as the Durango steers and cuts with a deftness that belies its size but at the same time, this isn't a sports car experience. It's just too big and heavy for those kinds of moves, particularly with these softer sidewall tires. But the ride comfort is agreeable, yet taut in the auto setting. And the eight speeds programming is smart, but using these paddle shifters provides the most raucous fun on passes like this. And even after the flogging, all of the Hellcat's vitals are running as cool as a cucumber, so it's ready to be punished. Obviously, you would never buy this Durango simply to take the kids to school or go to the grocery store. No, this one is all about that unbelievable straight line acceleration.
launch control and launch assist keep the tires from burning off and the drive line from exploding, providing an easy to use solution for best times. I have to admit, I have that gene that attracts me to absurd vehicles like this. And this Hellcat is wicked cool, it is exclusive, and of course, it is pretty nutty. I mean, you could just go get yourself a Charger Hellcat and call it a day, but no, there are a few crazies out there who need to have that one exclusive model that no one else has, regardless of whether or not it makes any sense. And this thing is super quick. It can be heard for up to a mile away. And of course, it comes with all of the SRT performance goodies that you can show off to the crowds that it undoubtedly attracts. So if you've been having that dark dream of driving around in a three-row Hellcat, well, now is the time to indulge that fantasy, all the while embarrassing legitimate sports cars at every traffic light. Top speed is 180 miles per hour, and it can tow 8,700 pounds. That's some combination. This gorgeous F8 green example starts at about 82.5, while my tester loads in all of the creature comforts and safety tech for an as-tested price of 92745 And for that, you get the premium interior treatment with these wild-looking forged carbon fiber accents, the Blu-ray entertainment system, which is pretty outdated when compared to the new Uconnect system, a 19-speaker Harman Kardon sound system that can easily get lost in the exhaust note, and some other niceties. And if you don't need these manually folding rear seats, you can delete them and save some weight. Otherwise, this Durango with the captain's chairs is capable of carrying six in comfort with lots of cargo room left over. The only items missing here are a head-up display and hands-free liftgate not available and a sunroof which is available. So what do you think? Is Dodge reaching too far with the Durango Hellcat, or is it the perfect family haul? Either way, I'm glad I've had the chance to experience the insanity. For TestDriveNow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.